Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Thanks for checking out the Raised Line interview series in which me and my co-hosts, Dr. Rishi Desai and registered nurse Jana Emil, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you will watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani, and today on Raised Line, I'm happy to be joined by Fred Singer. Fred is the CEO of Echo 360, which is the first video platform designed to foster active, engaged, and personalized video-based learning. He's an internet pioneer and entrepreneur whose career and philanthropic activities have spanned a broad range of interests from education, media, arts, science, and veteran affairs. So you have a pretty storied career at the intersection of uh, internet innovation and education. Would love to hear more about your career journey in your own words. My career, I'm originally Canadian, so I, I grew up there, was on my way to being a lawyer, got recruited to the U.S. Uh, with Bain, and um, along the way went to uh, Harvard Business School, and a light bulb hit me that, you know, there was going to be this big change, and so I ended up uh, going to the Washington Post uh, in the very early days and was uh, the, the, one of the founders of WashingtonPost.com. So that's, I really caught the internet early. And what will be relevant maybe for your listeners is that a lot of what's going on in the newspaper industry actually translates very well to what's going on in education today. During that time, I had a son with learning difficulties and I began to see the the juxtaposition of this fancy technology being used for advertising and dating and for media. And then I would go to my son's school and it looked like the 1950s. And so like a lot of internet entrepreneurs, uh, just began to scratch my head why why on earth education uh, was so far behind. And I know you have a large healthcare audience as well. And I would say uh, along the way, most of my comments that apply to education actually apply in great measure to the healthcare industry. What advice would you give to someone right now considering a career in healthcare or already partially on the way towards that career about meeting the challenges of the COVID moment and beyond? So one of the things we've been working on is resiliency. So I, I think that this is, particularly in nursing, it applies because uh, we've just been working in this category. But I think that there's so much change going on that the ability to adapt to that change and and cope is going to be helpful. But you know what what I'd say just because I've over my experience you see trends. Remember the same trends in your healthcare career are going to affect you that have affected media that are affecting education. There is going to be time shifting. You know, eighty or ninety percent in education of all, all online is time shifted. Well, that's going to the same type of time shifting is happening in healthcare when people are able to do things uh, from home, they're able to do them not synchronously. And being flexible around that is really important. I think the ability to be flexible because the healthcare system needs the leaders to be able to handle this next wave of technology and, and not block it. And I think there will be huge opportunities to people that know how to embrace the change versus, re, you know, stop it. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raised Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.